Buckle up as we take you through some of the most shocking high-profile court cases where fame, fortune and justice collided, changing your favourite celebrity's life forever. Number 1. Jared Fogel Born in August 1977, Jared became a pop culture icon as a fast food spokesperson. But he was hiding a dark secret no one knew. His journey to fame began after 1999, when he lost a whopping 245 LB during a year by including Subway sandwiches into his diet plan. Subsequently, Jared was hired by the chain to promote the health benefits of Subway's food, and soon began acting in commercials. Over time, Jared became the face of Subway restaurants, having appeared in more than 300 commercials. He continued to garner more fame and became a role model for people struggling with obesity. In 2004, he founded the Jared Foundation, a non-profit institution that raised awareness about childhood obesity with the help of educational programs and tools offered to parents, schools and community clubs. It would seem that Jared was very concerned about the children's physical health, but as it turned out, he was a monster in disguise. At a health-related event in 2007, Jared was interviewed by journalist and radio host Rochelle Herman Walrone. That's when his sinister secrets began to unravel. During the interview, Jared made some lewd comments about middle school girls that Rochelle found very alarming. She decided to pursue this case further and befriended him so she could reveal his true face to the FBI. She recorded their conversations, where Jared talked about how he craved young kids for sexual favors. These recordings, combined with the evidence discovered from Russell Taylor's home, the director of the Jared Foundation, led the police straight to Jared Fogel. Can you imagine the purpose of Jared's foundation? His secret was finally out, and Jared was arrested in July 2015 by the FBI and Indiana State Police on distribution and receipt of child porn charges. During the trial, Jared, a married father of two, pleaded guilty to possessing or distributing child pornography and traveling across state lines to have commercial sex with a minor. Subway immediately issued a statement saying that their professional contract was Jared was over and he was no longer the restaurant's spokesperson. Jared paid each of his victims $14,000 in restitution and was sentenced to 15 years behind bars. If you thought Jared had a shocking secret life, you'd never believe how well the next celebrity concealed his true intentions. Number two, Zach Avery. Zachary J. Horwitz, known popularly by his stage name Zach Avery, found himself at the center of a media frenzy when he was sentenced to 20 years in federal prison for a massive Ponzi scheme. Avery started his career in Hollywood in 2009 with his debut film, GED. Apart from getting featured in different movies, Avery co-founded 1NMM Capital LLC, a company that produced, acquired, and distributed content to mainstream audiences. The Los Angeles-based company was formed in 2013, claiming to distribute English films to the Latin American market through partnerships with renowned platforms. Using his position in the film industry, he managed to secure several investors, including three of Avery's closest friends and family members. He promised a return of up to 40% within a year, which attracted investors like moths to the flame. Avery used his cunning to keep investors hooked and ready to invest more in his business venture. In 2015, he sent bottles of Johnny Walker Blue Label Scotch to all his investors, along with an annual report that stated the company had acquired and successfully distributed 49 films through the 1NMM Capital banner without incurring a single loss in the process. Avery also spread the news that his company had expanded its partnership with Netflix and HBO to distribute films to Australia and New Zealand. However, the production company turned out to be a facade for illegal activities. Avery was accused of fabricating licensing deals with Netflix, HBO, and other platforms to secure funding for his film distribution company. In reality, neither Avery nor his company ever engaged in a business relationship with Netflix or HBO. All the emails and correspondence he showed to his investors to justify payment delays were fabricated. Do you think his friends and family ever saw that coming? According to the prosecutors in Avery's case, he raised almost $650 million from over 200 investors. On February 14, 2022, Avery was sentenced to 22 years in federal prison and was ordered to pay $230 million in restitution. The next celebrity was one of the NFL's most promising young talents, but his career was cut short because of his questionable life choices. Number 3. Sam Hurd Sam Hurd is a one-time NFL player who did a decade behind bars after receiving a 15-year sentence. 
Heard, now 37, was taken down by the feds in 2011 while he was still on the Bears roster. He was arrested in Chicago for allegedly attempting to purchase and distribute large quantities of illegal substances. It all began during an NFL lockout when the police arrested a group of dealers in California. One of the dealers had Heard's number on his caller ID, which alarmed the police and encouraged them to investigate Heard's activities. The investigation reached its conclusion when Heard joined someone he thought was a drug supplier on a table at a Rosemont Steakhouse. In reality, he was sitting with an undercover agent. The two reached a deal where Heard agreed to buy 5 to 10 kilos of cocaine per week at $25,000 per kilo. But he had no idea what was waiting for him outside the restaurant. As he stepped out after the deal, the Fed swooped in and arrested him, and he was sent to the Bastrop Federal Penitentiary in Texas after pleading guilty. Despite his arrest, many facets of Heard's case remain a mystery, leading others to believe that Heard wasn't as guilty as he was made out to be. Do you think his sentence was justified, or did the feds use Heard's case to make a point? Let us know in the comments. Hailed as the first tycoon of teen, the next celebrity dropped from a high pedestal when he committed a brutal crime. Can you guess who's coming up next? Number 4. Phil Spector Phil Spector created his mark in the music industry as the youngest ever US label owner in 1960. A record producer and songwriter John Lennon called him the greatest record producer ever. But besides his unlimited talent in music, he also possessed a twisted mind that others could glimpse every time he waved guns at recording stars in the studio and threatened women. He was temperamental and dangerous, reminisced bitterly by Darlene Love, Ronnie Spector and other artists who worked with him. However, things changed for him forever in February 2004, when actress Anna Clarkson was found dead in his castle-like mansion on the edge of Los Angeles. Clarkson, the star of Barbarian Queen and other B-movies, was shot dead in the foyer of Spectre's mansion. However, Spectre maintained the incident was an accidental suicide, but the truth would come out soon enough. Would you believe that until Clarkson's death, only a few residents knew the mansion belonged to the reclusive producer? The case was shrouded with mystery from the beginning, and it took the police a whole year to file charges. In the meantime, Spectre enjoyed temporary freedom on $1 million bail. When his trial started, his oddity took center stage, and he would show up in court wearing dramatic outfits like high-heeled boots, frock coats, and wildly styled wigs. Finally, on May 29, 2009, Spectre was sentenced to 19 years to life in prison in the California state prison system. He tried to contest the verdict with appeal attempts in 2011, 2012, and 2016, but they were all unsuccessful. The innovative music producer who transformed rock music with his wall of sound method finally died in prison at 81. Number 5. Skylar Delion Delion started his career as a child actor, playing a small part in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in 1993 and 1994. Delion was born John Julius Jacobson Jr., but he changed his name before marriage to Jennifer Henderson. He joined the US Navy at age 20, but was later discharged for an unauthorized absence of 15 days. He got married in 2002, but quickly caught himself in the throes of poverty as he struggled to make ends meet. To escape his situation, the couple resorted to robbery, but what started as petty theft soon turned into a deadly game, claiming the lives of two people. Skyler met a couple, Thomas and Jackie Hawks, in 2004 when they were trying to sell their yacht, the well-deserved. Tom and Jackie had recently heard of an arriving grandson and wanted to buy a house closer to him, but they were short of cash and decided to sell the yacht to raise funds. Unfortunately, they thought Skyler was a serious buyer and trusted him. On the other hand, Skyler was severely in debt and had already made a down payment for gender confirmation surgery. He needed money and he needed it fast. But what happened next was so blood-chilling that it left everyone in shock. Can you guess how Skylar raised money? One day, both couples went for a test run in Newport Beach Harbor, where Skylar, his wife, and three accomplices assaulted the owners and forced them to hand over their yacht's ownership. Although the initial plan was to only steal the boat, they ended up tying Tom and Jackie and throwing them into the sea. Regrettably, their bodies were never recovered. One of the accomplices eventually confessed to the crime, revealing Skyler as the mastermind behind the murders. He was sentenced to the death penalty by lethal injection, but California law made him spend the rest of his days on death row prison. Skyler's wife, one of the accomplices to the crime, was sentenced to two life terms in prison without parole. Skyler did get his wish though, and changed his gender to female in 2019 while behind bars. If you thought these celebrity crimes were surprising, you wouldn't believe the courtroom drama these five convicts unleashed during sentencing.